Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're out at another auction adventure, auction number two of our five in a row's auction in two weeks. Uh, we're heading out to the Barry County Expo Center. This is gonna be a huge auction. I mean, they told us there was four 53 foot semi trailers full of stuff. So this is gonna be a massive auction. Um, so yeah, expect a little longer of a video, I would assume. Uh, because it's going to be a big one. Uh, lots of uh, antiques, collectibles, military, uh, advertising, just any and everything it sounds like is going to be at this auction. And the funny part is it's all one estate, which means this guy had all of these things. So that's that's crazy because I, I've seen the pictures and this one looks humongous. So yeah, I had to get some help today. So I had to uh, you know, pull my mom out of her plans and she's with me today um because two rings all day that's going to tell you right there how big of an auction this is they're not even doing the one ring into two rings this is going to be two rings all day so um so yeah it's going to be a lot of fun i'm hoping to get a lot of stuff today i'm actually planning to get a lot of stuff today which is not usual for auctions normally i'm more you know uh reserved on what i'm going to get because you just never know but i have a feeling we're going to get a lot of stuff today just because of the bulk amount of stuff that's here i think you're going to get stuff for a good price and as we're pulling up to here there's a lot of vehicles here already and it's an hour before the auction that even tells me even more about what's here today so so yeah let's get inside let's go over everything and hopefully we come home with a lot of stuff today because i think we have a good shot too so we're gonna head inside and uh, let's go the old walk around to the auction so we'll see you then all right guys let's get rolling on this uh this was a very long auction uh th this was crazy they were going half tables at a time on certain things and stuff was going very 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 good prices uh that corner cabinet right there my parent my mom actually got that one in the left corner there i uh, paid 15 dollars for it uh this was an auction where if you liked furniture uh, you could have got all these furniture pieces anywhere from five dollars to twenty five dollars for most of them that watchman's run right there went for about 250 um but most of the dressers like that one right there i think it was like a 20 dollar uh dresser right there curio cabinets for 10 15 dollars it was really hard to sit there and watch this stuff go for so cheap but we just for one don't have the room to the hauling and I wanted to, you know, open up as much room as I could for other items as well. So um, those uh, high boy dressers right there sold for 10 bucks a piece. I mean, it was sad to see because I know I could make an easy 100 bucks off of those a piece. But again, it's just having the, uh, the room, which we don't have, you know, which is something we're looking into, maybe expanding a little bit just because, you know, for those exact reasons right there, uh, there's just so much stuff that we could come across that we just have to pass on because of that so so yeah this was a this was a fun auction though like i said that one right there same price 10 bucks that was another one i was very upset not getting but again i just you know it's there's there's other uh things that go into buying stuff it's not always about the price sometimes it's about what you can do with it that ladder right there i could have got for five fit ten bucks uh, I really wanted that one right here, though. This was a really nice one I wanted, uh, but it went for $25, just more than I wanted to spend on it because I don't think I could have got $50 out of it. Um, but yeah, as we roll through here and go through these uh, the side of the auction there, uh, most of those buckets you could have got for $10. Bucks. I mean, they were, I don't know if I look up and show you guys how much stuff was there. Sorry for the spin there. Those stretcher there was really cool. I was up on it. I got to 25 and went out and bowed out on that. But uh, most of the stuff he was doing, he was grabbing about a quarter of the table and telling you that's what we're buying today. It's a whole lot, the whole side of the table. I mean, it was um, quite, quite interesting, the pieces you could come across uh, for the price you could got them for. I mean, I did really well today, but again, I feel like, you know, you probably could have bought some more, but you know, just, you know, you, you, as you're going into the auction, it's always a little different. So, uh, but yeah, like I said, we just roll through here and kind of take a look at some of the things they had. A lot of random items. Uh, a lot of these pelts and hides, um, you could have got for five to 10 bucks a piece. And you might see some of those at the end of this video. Uh, the horns, that's the same thing too, is he was pretty much taking that whole table of horns. And I think it went for about, I, I thought it was close to a hundred dollars if I remember right. Yep, even the mount was included as well. I mean, it was uh, um, the the Alcorns went for sixty. Um, 
but yeah, it was it was fun, man. This was a this was a fun auction, and there was two rings, and they were flying. It wasn't something they weren't waiting around for bids. I mean, it was go 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 go, and if you weren't prepared, you were gonna lose out on a lot of stuff today. So, luckily, we were prepared, and we got some really nice things today. Um, yep, there's a pheasant uh, taxidermy piece that might make an appearance at the end of this video. Um, then we got a bunch of tins, lard tins, potato chip cans, again, all stuff very cool, again, hint, hint, maybe, 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 maybe might have got those, <laughs> um, but yeah, you might get tired of me talking, because like I said, I'm pretty sure the walk around is about 30, 35-ish minutes, um, that cheese box was nice rocks there, maybe make an appearance at the end of this video, <laughs> yep, don't like giving away too many hints, but like I said, this is about a 35 minute walkthrough, that's how much stuff was here, I mean, if you like military, uh, rock collecting, uh, it, this guy's house, guy, it was a two, it was a, uh, double wide house, and with a small pole barn, and they said they pulled this stuff out of there, and it was floor to ceiling, is what they were pulling out of stuff. It was it wasn't like it was very livable, but he was there. But floor to ceiling is how this place was packed with this stuff. And as you guys will see as I'm walking through here, it's it's unreal how much stuff can fit into one house. I mean, uh, these ammo boxes they were selling them as lots. They went for mostly about a hundred bucks for the lots of seven or eight of them. So pretty much right around the the price you would think. That polar bear picture right there, I really liked. That went for eighty five dollars. I mean. Um, I need to do a little more research on it, but I thought that was pretty cool. That drug, uh, South Dakota sign, that wall drugs of South Dakota, that went for about $65 or $55, if I remember right. But yeah, a portion of this auction is a lot of just stuff. I mean, it was just, I could walk away for about four or five tables sometimes because it was just such random items you know, but to all come from one estate was just unbelievable to me because what do you do with all this stuff? I mean, tables of pottery and tables of glass and pewter and uh, it was just, you know, the prices don't even reflect because the way he did the sale, which was, you know, you're buying half a table. I mean, it's pretty hard to to value that as you go through. So, yeah, those turtle shells right here, Amber really wanted the turtle shells. 17 turtle shells sold for $70, which was a really good price, but she didn't want all the turtle shells, so I had to pass on those. Uh, the powder horn or the powder horns here sold the whole table, and I think that whole table went for about $95. Uh, again, amazing price. I just, I don't know what I would do with all those. I mean, that's just a lot of horns to go to do, to do stuff with. And those antlers, same thing sold as a whole table. If I remember right, I mean, uh, just a lot of money and a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of ideas of what to do with it. Uh, these again, hides were selling pretty cheap, not very high. Uh, those bear hides right there. Those are really cool. Might make an appearance at the end of the video. Uh, these cow hides sold for about a hundred bucks a piece awesome awesome hides i mean these were really really cool um again some ones that are just i don't come across hides too much at sales so it's nice to, to see these and we had a chance at a few of them we, we went bid on most of them we did get a couple of them but not all of them so uh, i got a compound bow there and like i said you guys will probably get tired of hearing my voice because like i said this is a it's about a 35 minute walkthrough but man there is some really cool stuff i think you guys will like here especially in the other room a lot of military native american you know, stuff like that. Uh, these ball peen hammers, if you guys come across those, we sell those all the time at the shop. Those are really good sellers. There's certain things uh, that right there, the little hangy thing I really liked. Again, hint. Um, the totes, you always funny at auctions, you see those totes. He sold all those totes for five bucks. I mean, you try to go to Walmart and buy totes, and you know, I'm telling you, I always tell people, like, why not go to an auction for anything you like? Because you'll find everything you need in an auction between. You know, if you're looking for furniture, if you're looking for dressers, if you're looking for storage, you're looking for kitchenware, and you'll get it so much cheaper than you'd buy it at retail stores. Yeah, it does take time. You're not always going to, you know, it's going to take some time. You have to give it a day to go out and do this. But, you know, if you're really looking to make the deals and really make it worth your while, I'm telling you, the auctions are the way to go. I just, I guess I have so much fun at these. These are a blast. My mom was a huge help today. Um, which is, you know, I couldn't ask for anything more. You have to spend a day with my mom and also, you know, be able to go and walk through these sales without having to run back and forth between rings and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, coming up here, a lot of tools, uh, not mean to go fast through this stuff, but it's just, you know, there was so much tools that most of these were selling in bulk lots, 
you know, so individual pricing on them is pretty tough to give you. Uh, but tools is always a good crowd for them. Always people, always guys, obviously looking to buy these old tools. Uh, you know, it's just again, I don't like going and buying a bunch of tools because they sit for a while and it takes the right person. And it's just something I don't like waiting on. So I don't usually buy a ton of tools, you know, depending on if it's something unique or rare or whatnot. Um, let's see here. What do we got coming up here? Oh, these shoes, man. All those wooden shoes sold as one lot for $2. Unbelievable. Again, I just don't have the room to, what am I going to do with all those shoes? We don't sell them enough to buy them, but for two bucks, uh, she got a really great deal on them. But yeah, like I said, I mean, this was a, it's a, it was a fun auction. Luckily, it was indoors because it's about 30 some odd degrees in, in Michigan. We're waiting for a little warm up coming, but it was a cold one, but at least outside it was, or inside it was nice. This wooden table here, they did choice out, and most of them choiced out the really good stuff like those chickens, the cow. They choiced out from 25 to 30 bucks a piece. Um, the really cool thing at the end, there's a devil's mask there on the top right that sold for $30. I'm sure that's a really good price. Um, I didn't do much research on it because I already knew that thing was going to go high, and it did. Um, but you got a little Native American pottery coming up here. I don't really delve too much into the Native American pottery, mainly because it's a hard sell. Um, there's just not the market for it there used to be. So I don't try to get too much into that. Uh, baskets, you could have got all those baskets for 5 bucks. I mean, it was, <laughs> like I said, this was one of those fun auctions where if you're looking for bulk and quantity, this is what it was. There was so much quantity. I'm not even probably halfway through the first room right now. That just doesn't tell you how much there was here. Uh, there's a couple pieces of Pyrex there. I always try to pick up Pyrex. Didn't pick up those pieces because I was actually in the other room at this time. Um, but if you get Pyrex for less than five bucks a piece, you always got to pick it up because as long as there's no issues with it, those the Pyrex market is so hot right now. It's, it's just, you know, I, I sell it all the time. Don't even know if ands or buts always sell the Pyrex. But yeah, a lot of these brass, uh, um, I'm, I'm going to say buckets, but I know they're not buckets, uh, brass, but cast iron pans and uh, pots, there you go. Those things sold for anywhere from 5 to 15 bucks a piece. Some went a little higher, obviously, um, but again, the way they sold it in those lots, it just made it real tough to get an indication of you know the prices that you were getting for things. Um. Yeah, like I said, guys, this is what the, this is what I was talking about about the mass amounts of just stuff. None of this stuff is super valuable. It's just stuff, <laughs> you know. Uh, these brackets sold for a lot. I mean, some of those brackets were selling for eighty to ninety bucks a pair. Uh, really cool pieces. I, you know, again, can't get on it for that price. But again, if you're looking for brackets, so why not go to an auction? You get the nice, unique, ornate, antique ones. Those are really cool. Um, got a little bit of my mom there. She's probably telling me something about what's going on. Uh, look at a bunch of gunpowder tins here. Again, this guy was into everything. I mean, if, if you wait till you get to the rock collecting. I mean, he had just ammo boxes full of rocks and cleaners and rock cutters and everything. I mean, there was just so much, so many random hobbies that this guy had that was just, it was fun to see. I mean, look at all these tools. I mean, guys, this is all one estate, one person's estate, and we're not even halfway, we're probably a little over halfway through the first room right now. The next room is just as big and just as long. It's just a lot of a lot of stuff. Can you picture this in someone's house? Hey, those signs, you guys, you guys know those signs. We see those at every auction of Steve's. Uh, the Stanton's there. I mean, he always has those signs. I think he bought a bunch in bulk because, man, they're always at these sales. Um, yep, uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, there's, like I said, this is all just that mass mount stuff that he had. I mean, there's just... A lot of wood, a lot of, you know, shelves and storage containers. Um, wish I could hop in and show you some of these random rare things that are just are big money, but there really wasn't a lot of big money stuff on some of these tables. Some of these tables are just random, random goods. Uh, there was chickens coming up here really cool, but there was a crack in the bottom of them, so I passed on those. Uh, there's a Roseville pitcher there with uh, eggs in them. Those were for about $37. Now we get into some of the, the rock stuff as well as more furniture. The furniture just wasn't like, it wasn't high quality furniture, but for the price, you were still getting a pretty good deal on it. Um, coming up here is a bunch more rocks. Uh, these rocks are really cool. I mean, but they were selling for about $90 to $100 a box as I be a little soon on that because they're coming up here in a second. But um, 
but yeah, it was, uh, it was, they're really cool. We sell rocks at the store quite a bit, actually. We had a, a vendor they used to sell rocks and like, right, these ones right here. They sold for about 90 to to $100 a box. And I wish I could have got a little better picture, but there's a lot of people looking at them. But in that one right there, there was amethyst rocks and, uh, oh, uh, turquoise. And there was just a lot of different rocks in there that I thought were really cool. But again, you only can do what you can do. You can't go. I probably was still a good price because I know I could have sold them individually. But man, it was just that's a lot of a lot of money to put out there. Now that book to the right, uh, oh, oh, right here, the book right here, uh, bottom right corner, I passed over. But once I actually went back and looked at it, it was a seventeen ninety eight uh, German Bible, and I think that was really cool. That went for about one hundred and twenty five dollars, if I remember right. Um, it was a really cool piece. And so, um, so yeah, we got more, more stuff up here, more rocks. I mean, these rocks were going for really good money. I didn't get a chance to get too much of these. Uh, there's, there was collectors there and I know the resale market's not bad for them because we've sold them in our store quite a bit. So, um, so yeah, if you guys like rocks, uh, tell me more about them in the comment section because I don't know much about rocks. I know what we sell them for. I, I make sure I buy them at low risk. And then, you know, I know they'll sell, but that way I don't have to worry about making this massive amounts of money that I paid for them. So, but yeah, if you guys know much about rock collecting, I'd love to get knowledge on that stuff because I do not know much about rock collecting. Uh, but I do know we do sell the stuff. Yep, here's more rock equipment, cleaners, cutters, all those other things, really cool pieces. Uh, now we get, now, now it's time to get into the, you know, some of the more furniture stuff. I did not hang around for this. I left after those rocks right there because those are the things, last things I was really going for. I wasn't really trying to go for no furniture. Um, just because, again, room. But if I could, you know, base it off of what the other stuff went for, I guarantee this was going all for less than 20 bucks a piece. I mean, it was... Uh, the lawyer bookcases went for a little more. I thought that end table was kind of cool. Uh, this piece right here, a little like a library card, uh, library card cabinet, I guess would be the best way to put it. That was a really cool piece. Um, again, I didn't hang around for that. Uh, these are the last two rows here I didn't hang around for to see what they sold for just because it was getting late in the day and we were there for quite a while and two rings running around all day. We were both kind of... Like, okay, I think we're good. I think we got a lot of stuff today, and we kind of moved on to <laughs> heading home. But there was a lot of good stuff uh, that we got. And like a lot of said, a lot of these furniture pieces were just eh. They were eh, is the best way to put it. Not Nothing that was going to, you know, move the needle for me. So, so yeah, like I said, as we walk through this stuff here, I'll just kind of give you guys a little rundown of everything that's been going on. We got our, uh, our Christmas sale is coming up here on December 3rd at our shop. Uh, that's going to be a really fun sale. We do a lot of great things for Christmas. The whole store is decked out. As we talk here, here's more of those rocks. Uh, just absolutely gorgeous pieces. Didn't hang around for them. That's a big petrified rock. I guarantee those were going for four or 500 bucks. And even those boxes, I guarantee we're going high. The way, the way people were bidding on them. So, But yeah, our Christmas sale going on December 3rd, Saturday, Sunday. Or it's the 3rd and 4th, Saturday and Sunday. Christmas music. We have treats, grandmas. We always called our good old-fashioned Christmas sale because... It's like going back in time, you know, our whole house is, our house, our whole store is decked out in Christmas. A lot of fun. We have uh, one of our vendors that works with us there. That's a lot of fun to be with and our family's there. So it's always a really fun time to come out and see us and get some great deals. Um, and we're big Christmas people in our, in our family. So it's always something, just a good time to enjoy each other's company and be able to have a good time around the holidays. So so yeah, and then um, I know I talked to you guys before about our Antique Festival we're having May 6th of next year. That's going to be a huge event. We just got a confirmation for that for getting M66, which is the road we're having it on, Main Highway, closed down in Michigan. So we're closing down the highway. We should have about 70 to 80 vendors doing flea market, really high-end, good flea market stuff. Not high-end, but really good quality flea market items. We got wood carvers. We got a band. We got um food trucks cornhole tournament i mean it's gonna be so cool just a really fun day to be out and doing some uh you know buying some deals and shopping the flea market so all right we're gonna head over to the other side here and go to check out this other this other room here and this is where we're at now again not a lot of stuff in this room i wasn't over in this room very much um most of this room was uh my mom was over there a lot more and uh not really me so i didn't really get a chance to go over and do this room very much uh she was out there as i was in the other room because the other room had more stuff i was looking for but this one had a lot of uh 
some glass, jewelry, um, a lot of Native American military stuff. I did obviously walk it, but there's all these patches here. I mean, this guy was a crazy, crazy collector because it's a lot of patches, a lot of metals. Uh, these wood bowls are something I was looking into, but just didn't get a chance to be over there because the other side was going so well. Um, but wooden bowls always sell at the store, 20 to 30 bucks a piece. These ones up here, the, the bread bowls right there, those are about a 75 to hundred dollar bread bowl. Uh, those are dough bowls, not bread bowls, sorry, dough bowls. Very good high end stuff. Wood, wood, uh, kitchenware is always a really good seller for us. But yeah, as we come across more of these military pieces here, we used to sell military, like I said, a lot at the store. Uh, that was when we first opened about 10 years ago. And then it really went to a lull where we didn't sell a lot of it. So we didn't pick up a lot of it. But uh, I know this stuff was really cool. I mean, there was like these hats are awesome. I, I thought those were really cool. Uh, the military helmets there I thought were great. Um, but again, there was just better stuff on the other side of the auction. So I stayed over there mostly and had my mom over here uh, going through stuff for this. I mean, it was just, uh, there was, you know, it doesn't take away from the stuff that was over here. But again, the stuff I know we sell quite a bit of was on the other side, so that's where I stayed. And she did tell me some prices for some stuff too, so I can still relay some of the prices to you guys. But, yep, just a lot of the stuff was just really unique, cool, you know, stuff all in one uh, one estate still. I can repeat that till the end of the day, how amazing that is. All this stuff just being in one house I think is absolutely crazy. Um. But yeah, as we go through more stuff here, I'd let you guys know, too, we just had our anniversary sale in October, which was a huge success. Tons of people came in. I mean, it was awesome. I mean, these hats are coming up cool. I love these. Military hats are great. Uh, just a really cool look. Again, in great shape, too. Uh, but our anniversary sale was absolutely amazing. We had people coming from YouTube, got to chat for a second. Don't get a chance to chat too much on our anniversary sales. Obviously, come in for anniversary sales. We had a lot of great stuff. You know, it's probably the best time to come into our store because our vendors are always restocking and whatnot. So our sales are great to come to. We just don't get a chance to chit-chat too much. So if you're looking to come in and talk and hang out and, you know, really discuss antiques, I don't recommend coming in on those dates. But always call us beforehand and make sure, you know, if you want to talk to Amber, if you want to talk to me, make sure one of us is there. Um, but we always love talking to antiques. I can, I've talked to them for hours with people before that came in from off YouTube. So um, just definitely keep that in mind. If you do come in to plan to hang out with us and talk for a while on our event days, we don't get a chance to do that very often just because we're very, very busy. So please keep that in mind before you come in. Um, but other than that, always stop in and say hi, visit. You know, we always love doing that and, you know, discussing whatever you guys want to discuss about the antique world, YouTube, whatever it is. That's why we're there. You know, any kind of knowledge we can pass along and share together, it just helps everybody out in the end. So that's something we definitely strive to do is just to educate people on what, uh, you know, what, what the antique world can be and what you guys can do in the reselling world and how it can be a profitable venture for anybody. So Definitely, uh, definitely love helping out with everybody doing that as well. But yeah, there's more patches here, more patches, more badges, more medals. I mean, look at the, the quantity. It's just, honestly, it's so overwhelming how these are sometimes because the quantity of these things, there's just so much. And so what do you do with it all? I mean, to display this... You know, if you're if you're just strictly military, then yeah, this is a great auction for you. But we buy everything. We buy we don't buy just strictly one item. So it makes it very very tough to just centrally locate all your stuff to one one item. So so yeah, we did pass on all the military stuff. The tins coming up same way. Uh, we I said I don't think I bought anything on this side of the on this side of the auction if I remember right. Um, but yeah, we'll see how this goes you know hopefully you know i know some of our vendors were there and hopefully they can let us know if they bought anything over here that they will let me know how they bought over here and you know if it was a good deal or whatnot so um so yeah like i said it was uh one of those auctions that we were there for about i think we got there at eight and we uh, left there about one so we were there for about five hours eight oh no we, we left the, my we left our house at eight we got we left the auction around 12.30. So we, we were there for about four four hours, four and a half hours. Um, not too bad for this size of an auction. Um, but it was, <laughs> it could have been a long one, but he was uh, definitely lotting a lot of stuff together. But, you know, as we come up here, more military, ammo, targets, bows, arrows, uh, just a lot of really cool stuff. Um and uh just stuff again stuff we don't sell a lot of so stuff i wasn't gonna buy but more 
I just hope you guys appreciate a lot of this stuff too, because I appreciate it as much as anybody. It's just, you know, if you guys want to throw in the comment section, you know, what, what I miss out on this? Like, like I said before, you know, what did we miss out from this military stuff? Was there stuff here that I should have been buying a lot of, and I should have been on this side compared to the other side. What side do you guys think was the best? Because for our sake, the other side was quite, uh, quite good for us so a lot of the cast iron there was uh very rusty there was very little cast iron that was in good shape uh more of the military hats here and again i always try to get the front of them for you because i think those are really cool to look at as well um yeah like i said a lot of military stuff coming up i mean you had everything from coats to ponchos to canteens hats helmets uh you know everything can i think there's a uh, there was, uh, cannonballs coming up here. Um, you know, like I said, it was just, <laughs> just massive amounts of stuff. Yep. I think the cannonballs coming up here, if I remember right. Yep. There it is right. There's the old cannonball. That thing was so heavy, very surprising how heavy that was. Um, uh, nice. I bet you it was about 20, 25 pounds. That was, uh, definitely, uh, definitely a really cool piece, but I'm sure it went for a super high amount of money. Cause once you get military collectors in there, that's when the prices can really start skyrocketing on some of these items. But across the old way here, I think we had some more tools coming up here. Yep. Um, again, tools, just a tough buy. They're small. They sit. There are some hatches coming up here that are cool. Uh, that butcher's knife is always good buy. Again, I know, you know, when you go to a lot of these auctions, you just know when so, certain people are there, certain items are going to go high. And I knew a couple guys there that were going to drive that hatch, those hatchets and knives up really high. And they did, according to what I heard. The prices were pretty high on those. Um, tins, again, we always talk about tins. Tins are tough. They're just tough movers. The old tins, we sell them five to seven, eight bucks a piece, but they're just, they, they can sit for a long time. And that's just uh, not ideal in what we do. So. You know, you want to move stuff fast, and that's how we thats how we always have a new look to the store, and that's something our customers appreciate as well, the new, always a new style, new look, new everything. You know, that way every time you come in, it's always something different. A lot of brass there. There's a couple of brass collectors I know that were there that were there a lot in brass together, and, man, they were just spending buttloads of money on brass. <laughs> bit more to, uh, uh, lamps, lamps and lanterns here, those uh, punch tin ones my mom was looking at. She was hoping to get them for about 10, 15 bucks. I ended up going for 25 to 30 bucks a piece. Uh, again, good prices, but again, that just doesn't work out when you're trying to resell them for a decent amount. Uh, right there, those candle snuffers there, we've had those in Eliza Guess's antique videos, which I'm sure we'll get back into too here coming up shortly once she gets a little time off of school, maybe on the, on the holiday season. Uh, but we had those on there as well. Like I said, there's always a lot of stuff we've run across at these auctions that we see quite a bit. Yeah, we should have been there probably 7 to 10 minutes of walkthrough. I mean, guys, as I said, normally our walkthroughs aren't this long, but there's just the amount of stuff. I wish I would have kind of put my camera up a little bit so you guys could see the actual amount these these the 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 size of the room and how much stuff was actually in there i mean it was crazy absolutely crazy <clears throat> excuse me but yeah maybe a more native american stuff coming up here again that's another thing that is uh it's i know it's popular i know there's collectors out there but we just we cannot move native american stuff minus the uh the arrowheads are always a good sellers uh those are one things that do move but like pottery and uh you know the beaded wear and stuff like that they're just they don't move fast they don't move fast for us again very well could be our area i'm sure if you're in the you know the southwest portion of the united states i'm sure those are a lot better sellers but just out here in the midwest we just don't move the stuff very fast and even online it's always tough too it seems like it's always tough to move them on there as well uh, the wood clamps there, we always sell good at the store. Uh, those are, you know, we always have a, I have a couple buyers that like to come in to buy those. But again, wasn't enough for me to stay over there. I have more wood clamps coming up. Yeah, wood planers are another good buys. I like those as well. We sell those for 20 to 40 bucks a piece, depending. Sometimes they can go a little higher than that. We used to have a vendor in the shop that used to redo them and uh, refinish them, so they would be, he you know he'd make a killing off old tools like those. Yeah, a few military maps there. I thought you know again, 
more more just really unique stuff a lot of, that's a lot of the stuff here was just very unique uh reference books i don't usually pick up anymore with the internet reference books are kind of going out the wayside honestly which you know it is what it is i think that's a good thing it does help for buyers helps the prices a little bit uh, this was kind of like a one little toy table they had kind of you know there's some marbles coming up here i thought were nice again didn't get a chance to go bid on them but i thought those were cool in original packages i thought were nice uh patrick if you're watching this video he loves hot wheels let me know if i missed anything in the uh in the hot wheels case there um yeah like i said it's uh, a lot of dolls dolls I, that's the one thing i'll tell you i do not buy don't buy porcelain dolls i never buy them i get phone calls they're usually weekly to let me know that they have a collection of porcelain dolls that they've had their whole life and they think it's worth a lot of money and man i just it breaks my heart sometimes to tell them what porcelain dolls go for because they they just don't sell anymore and that's it's uh the nature of the beast i guess so yeah we got a few bit of pottery up here um i've bought a few of those pieces before uh i think that the auction in portland a few auctions back I've always try to do well with those Again, make sure you guys throw in the comment section what I missed out on. When you have this big of an auction, there's no way I can catch everything. So let me know what I missed out on and let me know in the fortune I missed out on. Because <laughs> that'll happen sometimes. Like I said, I've done it many times. You guys have told me I missed out on something that I know it sold for cheap and I could have got it and made some good money off of it. So this is a lot of uh, costume jewelry coming up here. Again, I know there was about five or six ladies that were there that always buy costume jewelry and that just makes it tough for me to sit there and actually try to buy it because i know they're going to jack the prices up enough to make it so it's hard for me to buy so um yep like i said i think you guys will agree the side of the auction is a little lesser than the other side and that's why i wasn't over there i was just you know a lot of stuff like this is just not my not my forte not stuff i like to waste my time with sometimes Hey, more of those signs. We talk about those signs all the time. How many times are those going to show up at these auctions? <laughs> those signs are always at these auctions. Like I said, he had to have bought a huge collection of those things. Yeah, got more tools coming up. Um, again, you know, that's not much to say on them. That's already too much to say. I can say everything about the tools. Um, our next auction is uh, two days from this auction which i should have the video out i would assume on tuesday of the next auction which is going to be a really good one it's at the expo center again i don't think it'll be this obviously massive amounts of stuff but there should be a lot of great stuff there that'll be uh um that'll be able to be you know a lot more antiques collectibles stuff like that so So yeah, as you guys got to saw there, the anvils are another big buys as well. Those are always really good money. Uh, those, you know, anywhere from two to five, six hundred dollars sometimes for anvils. Definitely something you should be out there looking for. Uh, again, very heavy, you know, but most time, very hard to come by too. I don't come by anvils very often. So yeah, these boxes are just full of junk and I don't mean that in a derogatory comment at all, but just junk, <laughs> just a bunch of random stuff that's just not worth not worth the time you gotta run by those signs again of course i sold for i think the most those sold for less than a buck a piece but yeah more jewelry costume jewelry be a lot of beads coming up you know i i just i see this as one person's collection and how they have so many different hobbies i mean it's just crazy and he never got rid of a hobby to go on to the next hobby it's always stayed and just kept everything and uh there's a definition of a hoarder and i think that's probably what this auction pretty much is is a hoarder auction because to have that small of an area and with this amount of stuff i mean it's just unreal honestly man you wonder if you guys are ever tired of hearing me talk so much i mean this is a long walkthrough on these but these were cool those are the uh, beeswax um little squares i thought were pretty cool um but yeah just uh, random stuff i just uh i uh, was hoping for a little more out of this sale with the quality with the qu the quantity of the items i thought there'd be some vintage christmas i was looking for for amber and then just some random more random unique items there was a couple unique things i liked but a lot of this stuff was just 
eh, it wasn't very, it wasn't, it didn't really, you know, strike me as, as much as I wanted to. For this much stuff, it was a lot of stuff that I don't really delve into too often. This should be the last row, I believe, of stuff that we go through. A lot of tools and boxes, like I said, they were selling these in just loads, just huge, huge quantities. I mean, people were walking out of there with so much stuff today. <laughs> it, was, it was crazy. Uh, but coming up here, there's actually some cool military uh, military suits I thought were really nice. Uh, but again, I know a couple people got there that were bidding on some of that stuff that wouldn't have let that stuff go cheap. So um, There's also a really nice uh, baby stroller coming up that I don't usually delve too much in them. But when I seen that, I thought that was another really cool piece that would, be, uh, would have been good at the store. But again, just wasn't able to leave the other side well enough to, to do that. Uh, there's a uh, stowing machine stand, those cast iron base stands. There's the military suits. Those cast iron base stands we sell for 25 to 30 bucks all day. So that, if I would have got for less than that, would have been a good price. But all those military uniforms I thought were great. Um, again, I know there was going to be buyers for it. So I really was not very high on those. But there's that stroller I was talking about right there. I thought that thing was really nice. Again, don't know what it went for because I wasn't a chance to get over there, but I thought that was a really nice piece that you don't see very often, and I think something I would have sold quite quick at the store. Yeah, coming up here, I think the anvils are coming up here. I can show you guys. Um, you know, it's just uh, that, that wood clamp, it looked like that thing was huge. But yeah, there's those anvils. Those right there, you're looking at... For the small ones, 200 I mean, some of those big ones should go five, 600 bucks. Not a problem. Those things are always easy, fast sellers. Anvils are some of the faster sellers that we have in our shop. So, so yeah, like I said, guys, this was about, I think we're running towards the end of it here. So, yeah, this is about it. And I didn't get a chance to record during the auction. So, you're going to go right to the ending. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy. All right, guys, auction is all done. I am back at the shop right on the way home. Let's show you what we got. We did pretty well. Uh, first up, we got the bear hides. Uh, these are bear hides, nice blankets on the inside, I think, yep. And then uh, we got the bear hides, we got two of those, paid $25. I'm thinking we're going to get about $150 for both of them. Very nice pieces, maybe even a little more, we'll see. Um, let's go down the line here, Amon, come on in here. If I can get a better look at those. We bought the cheese box or rocks. Again, a lot of these are very unique. If I can, okay, you can, yeah. yep, you can see them in there a little bit. Let me get them in the light, there we go. Um, but yeah, a lot of different different style of rock. And then I got this box right here for 20. And then we paid, we got about 50 of these guys for 25 maybe. Yeah, 25. But we'll be able to sell these for about five bucks a piece. These are really cool pieces. Um, did really well on those. So we're looking at probably between all the rocks here, I would guess probably about three to three hundred and fifty dollars. We spent about forty bucks. So very cool. A lot of those rocks there went super high. Couldn't get them a lot of them, but they went really high. So um, let's get into these. We paid. Uh, we got all these tins here. We got one on the ground, and then these three, four, what five, six tins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tins total. Paid twenty dollars for all eight of them. These lard ones right here. We're looking at probably about forty-five dollars a tin. The potato chip, I'd say at least $15 a tin. I think there's more tins inside of that. The coconut tin, you're probably looking at another 25 bucks. So again, a really huge steal right off the bat at the beginning of the auction with the uh, tins. So very happy with those. This thing I picked up, did a little quick research while I was there. The Singer Pinker, um, this had everything in it. All there, paid 15 bucks for it. They sell for about 75, 80 bucks on eBay. That's probably gonna be an eBay item. Again, a very cool piece. And then, um, is, that, is that it? No, we got this ring right here. So the last thing we got is we did get the pheasant uh, um, taxidermy piece, paid $17.50 for it. I'm thinking, what do you think, Am? How much do you think we can get for that? It'll clean up better. I don't know. Well, she don't 50, know. 60 bucks? I'd say 60, 60, 70 bucks is what I was gonna say. Not a problem, really nice colors. It's gonna look really good in somebody's house. I think that's gonna be a nice buy for somebody. Um, am I missing anything? No, I, I think like, so. I feel like we're missing something. I felt that way when I bought stuff anyway. Anyway, that could be it, but we did really well. Like I said, I was happy with everything we got. 
really good prices as i talked about when we walked around the prices were actually going fairly decent rock super expensive you could have got furniture for nothing i mean it was uh it was a really weird auction but they were flying through everything so so yeah, guys that's all we got for today hope you guys see what we got like i said i bet you total profit on everything i bet you're looking at probably four to five hundred dollars we'll end up making eventually off all these lots because the rocks will take a little bit to sell but four or five hundred bucks profit off this all day not a problem so Thank you guys all so much for watching. Uh, if you guys want to do those things, I would say like, subscribe, share, comment, all those great things. Let me know what you guys thought about the auction. And uh, if you guys get some time, come out and see us and visit our shop and get your antique fix on M66. See you guys later.